Hello everyone, I'm Jawan's Trader. Watch NBC6 on our app, Roku, Apple TV, and YouTube. And here are the six things to know. Ricardo Rosello is officially Puerto Rico's former governor, having stepped down today as scheduled after days of protests. And earlier today, the island's House of Representatives approved Rosello's nomination choice, Pedro Pierluisi, as Secretary of State. Now it's the Senate's turn to approve Pierluisi, but some lawmakers argue that he presents a conflict of interest because he worked as an attorney in a law firm that represents the Federal Oversight Board. However, there are conflicting reports about whether he has already taken the oath of office. We'll keep you posted. The Floridian Gardens Assisted Living Facility is closing its doors, leaving dozens of families desperate to find new places for their loved ones. Our residents and loved ones told us that they were very happy with the facility, but the state had a very different view of it. This assisted living facility is operated by the same company that owned the rehabilitation Rehabilitation Center at Hollywood Hills, the nursing home where 12 people died after Hurricane Irma. Residents say that they have 45 days to find a place for them to live. Miami-Dade County issues a no-swim advisory due to bacteria. The two beaches affected are Crandon South Beach in Key Biscayne and Hallover Beach South. The Florida Department of Health says the last two water quality tests found high levels of bacteria that can make it unsafe to swim. Well, two big stories out of Miami development. This this evening, after years of trying to revamp a strip of oceanfront roadway in North Beach, a developer finally gets the green light for the makeover. The Ocean Terrace is set to go from a street to a park, but not everyone is happy with the decision. Meanwhile, in Brickell, Mayor Francis Suarez vetoed a commission decision that would allow a developer to double the height of a building under construction from 12 stories to 24. Those who oppose it fear that it'll make traffic worse. Oh, the family of a high school senior is suing the Florida High School Athletic Association, hoping to overturn a ruling that is keeping the player off the field. Luther Johnson was suspended from all sports his senior year for what coaches and referees called, quote, unsportsmanlike conduct during lacrosse games. A 17-year-old's family says that the suspension was extreme and could cost him his football career. But you only have a few more days to buy items tax-free for the back-to-school season. Items that qualify for the tax-free holiday not only include classroom supplies, but also school uniforms. Another surprising item on the list, diapers. Some things to keep in mind when shopping. School supply items are tax-free if the individual prices are 15 and under. Clothes if it's $60 and under. And for electronics, laptops, iPads, or desktops if they're $1,000 and under. A sales tax holiday runs until Tuesday, August 6th. The NBC6 First Alert Weather Team, certified most accurate six years in a row. A fairly wet week here around South Florida. Rain chances, though, beginning to adjust as we get into the weekend. Let's talk about Friday night into Saturday morning. Only isolated late night showers and storms. Otherwise, partly cloudy, lows into the upper 70s. As we get into the weekend, the change will be this. I think the mornings look decent. Fair amount of sunshine should be dry. Mid 80s will do it through late morning. Early afternoon, lower 90s, and then scattered storms unfolding. We will see storms likely by the end of the day with locally heavy downpours possible both Saturday and Sunday. It's a very rich tropical environment that's uh, overhead this weekend, so we may see some heavy rain at times, but that'll be mainly in the afternoon hours. Lower 90s both Saturday and Sunday transitioning into the new work week. Lower 90s will do it. More sunshine, widely scattered showers and thunderstorms expected. All right, thank you, Ryan, and those are your six things to know for today. You can always follow all these stories and get a check on the forecast on the NBC6 app. Make it a good evening.